How We Make Movies is brought to you by Microsoft Surface, Assimilate, Azo, and hosted by the film collective WeMakeMovies.org. Carmen, how did you find Carmen? She plays the transgendered yeah. um, character in the film. Yeah, so Carmen was, um, <laughs> this is a funny story, I guess. Um, so I had been writing the script for about a year, it's like 2009, and I had, I had the character Felicia I was working on, and um, I had this video on YouTube. And you know, like when you watch YouTube and then you're done, it, it gives you other suggestions. Yeah. So this video popped up for Navajo transsexual Carmen Moore. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. So I clicked on it, and then <laughs> I watched it, and um, it was just like someone was interviewing her or something or other, and I was like, but I was like, that's Felicia. That's the character. I was like, I have to find this girl, you know? And so I kind of, uh, you know, you know, I tried to hunt her down and everything, and I was able to track her down. How do you, you know? stalk someone on YouTube? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. That's, that promise it wasn't creepy. Was like, uh, no, so, yeah, so, um, I think, I think the other thing, too, is the reservation is small enough, too. I think I actually found, like, we had a mutual friend, maybe. Um, yeah. I mean, because she grew up about 45, 45 miles from our hometown. Okay. Um, so anyway, Did you so, put an ad in the newspapers? Are you yeah. seeing this space? Yeah, <laughs> yeah put it up at the mall. <laughs> yes. um, no, so basically I just, I, I got her contact info, sent her emails like, hey, I, I'm doing a movie. I have the lead character who's transgendered. Um, would you be interested? And, you know, to her credit, she wasn't like freaked out or anything. And um, she read the script and she responded, you know, uh, she seemed to respond well and um, said she was interested and then we, when I got into the director's lab in 2010, we were able to bring her out to Sun, the Sundance Resort, which is where the labs take place, and and shoot some scenes with her. And that was our first time really working together. And that was the first time I was like, okay, she can do this. Like Carmen can. Carmen is this character, but more importantly, she can act. You know. I remember asking her in the interview if she had any trouble playing a tran transgendered character, and she's like, no, because I am. And I was like. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> well, you know, that's how you nailed it. <laughs> um, can you talk about um, transgendered culture in Navajo, Navajo culture, like how those are intertwined? Um, yeah, so that's that's actually a big a big sort of uh, part of the storyline is is the um, Carmen Carey. She's, she's transgendered and she's sort of searching for acceptance and she's trying to become a model and. Um, Sort of the, uh, I guess, without giving a spoiler for the film, is that there's a, there's a cultural aspect to like, um, of being like a third or fourth gender. You know, there's a concept of a third and a fourth gender in Navajo culture, and so I try to tie that in with her character, and it ties into her storyline. Um, so, uh, but I'm sorry, what was the question again? I just wanted to know, like, what was unique about transgendered culture in. Navajo culture that maybe is different in the rest of American culture? Is it more or less accepted? Um, it's yes and no, you know? It's a very interesting dynamic because, like, I grew up on the reservation, and um, there's a lot of things I didn't really know, you know, about, the, about my own culture. You know, it's sort of like people tend to sort of, like, pick and choose what parts of the culture they like. Like, oh, the, the, the brave warrior, macho, you know, male part of it is like, oh, that's, that's what we are, you know. But there's yeah. other parts of it too, which I feel like maybe Western influences have sort of like, oh, we don't really do that part, you know. Right. Um, so, so, wasn't, so I moved to San Francisco. I was going to film school in San Francisco and I met this uh, trans woman who was, who, you know, we started talking and she found out I was Navajo and she's like, oh, that's great. Um, the reservation must be so loving and accepting of, of you know, of, of uh, trans people. And I was just like, what are you talking about? You know, so I grew up there and it's, it's not, I don't know. I mean, it's not, it's not a hostile environment, but yeah. it's also not, it's not the, it's not the safest, but it's not the most hostile, I guess. Right. Um, yeah. And uh, so anyway, so that, so I sort of started researching and learning about my own culture um, and I learned about this sort of this aspect of a third and fourth gender in Navajo culture, you know, men who live as women and women who live as men. And it was just, it was just sort of commonplace, you know, back in, you know, back in the day. And I guess sort of, it's sort of been that part of the culture has kind of been suppressed, I guess. 